Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can create your own calculator in uh, Visual Studio 2008 in C Sharp. And as you can see, I've already created the uh, general uh, GUI interface right here. Um, I've already put all the buttons in and renamed them and everything just to make this a little bit uh, faster and a little bit easier. And I'm sure you can do this, all you have to do is just drag buttons over. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we probably want to do is write the code for all these different buttons. So let's just go ahead and double click the one and we'll get a uh, private void button one click. It'll automatically make this for us. And we're going to go ahead and do textbox1.text, which is where all of right here, which is where all of the uh, um, numbers are going to be displayed. Then we're going to make it equal textbox one dot text uh, plus one, and the reason I made it equal um, itself plus one is so say if we um, run it and then we press one, and then if I press it again, it'll just add one to it, add one to it, keep going like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and write the code for the rest of it and I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, as you can see I've uh, written the rest of the code for all the other buttons so it's pretty similar, just replacing the one with the two and etc. I just double clicked each one and wrote the little code for each one. So the next thing we're going to do is write the code for the decimal. Um, so let's go ahead and double click that to uh, Visual Studio will auto create the uh, event for us. And we're going to do um, first we have to check to see if um, the uh, numbers already contain a decimal because we don't want two decimals um, in the screen at the same time so we're just going to do an if statement so if textbox1.text dot contains and this will uh, return a value true or false whether uh, the string textbox1.text contains a certain string so we're just going to open parentheses and uh, the character uh, we want it to look for is the dot. So we'll close that and then we'll close that. And what will happen is if, um, if it contains a dot then it will execute the code in between these two parentheses and if it doesn't then it'll skip over it. So we basically don't want um, a decimal to be placed in the text box if there is already one there. So what we're going to do is just basically do return. So if there's a decimal in there, it's going to skip over this whole button decimal click, and you can use return to do that. But if there, um, if it doesn't contain it, we can use else, and then just do textbox one dot text equals textbox one dot text plus des decimal. And there we go. We've done the decimal. So let's go ahead and test it out. So we're going to do 8.88888. And then see if we try and press the point again, it won't write one in because there's already one in there. It found that. All right. Now the next thing we should write is the plus minus. This will make it positive or negative. And what we're going to do is we're kind of going to do the same thing here except we're going to replace the dot with the dash which will uh, tell it if it's minus or not or negative so we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste that and replace that with that and again we're going to have the else statement and then we're in it we're going to put textbox1.text equals this and we always want the negative sign in front of the numbers it just looks a lot nicer Actually, that is not what we want. <laughs> um, actually, we want if we press it, then um, uh, it'll remove the negative. So we're just going to do textbox one dot text equals. So we're going to reset the text. We're going to make it textbox one dot text equals textbox one dot text dot remove, and this will remove the character. And since it's at the beginning, we we're just going to do the start at one. And the amount of characters we want to remove is one. So it's just going to remove the first character. So we set the text to remove the first character if it already contains one to make it positive. It's kind of confusing, but 
So 5.23, make it negative, then we press again, gets rid of the negative. So it removes that first character if it detects uh, one is already in there. All right, now let's go ahead and go to plus. This is where the fun starts. Um, so basically, um, I'm going to create what's known as a global uh, bool, which is a true or false. So I'm just going to do uh, bool plus equals false. I'm going to set to false. So when the form loads, there's going to be a bool. It's going to be called plus, and it's going to be false. And you'll see why I'm doing this later. Okay. Now, what we want uh, to happen is if there's nothing in the um, text box, we don't really want it to do anything. So we're going to do if textbox1.text. And for if statements, you, if you want uh, to compare two things, you have to use the double equal sign. So we're going to, and then we'll just do two quotes to mean nothing in the string. And then if that is true, then we're just going to do a return. And if that is false, then we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to make plus equals true. So that means that's telling um, the program that we are adding something. So we make the adding true. It's just uh, something to remember once we click the equal button later, which I'll show you after I finish this. And what we want to do is we want to store the numbers in the text. And a great way to store it is called tag. So we go textbox1.tag equals textbox1.text. And then we're just going to clear out the text box. This just makes it a lot easier to uh, work with. All right. And now let's go ahead and work on the equals. Uh, so this is where we want to uh, test if we're adding, like subtracting, multiplying, since we're going to add more global bools um, above. So what we're going to do is we're going to do if plus. And this will basically mean if this plus uh, Boolean value is true, then it's going to execute the statement. If it's false, it's going to skip it, kind of like the other if statements. And then we're going to need, uh, we're going to have to take what's in the text box and what's in the tag, because there are going to be two values that are going to be added together. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a decimal. Since we have decimals, we might or most likely we'll have decimals in our uh, numbers. Decimal desk, just call it anything you want. And then we're going to do convert dot to decimal. And then we're going to do textbox one dot tag, which is this what we stored, which is the first value that we're adding. And then we're going to add that to convert dot to decimal. And then this is the second value, which is the textbox one dot text. And then we're going to make, we're going to do textbox one dot text because we want to display the value once it's finished adding. And then we're going to do dec. And then we have to make it two strings in order to display it in the text box. All right, that was a lot. So uh, let's go ahead and see if it works. So we'll have two plus two equals four. See, it worked. And then we can do. Uh, Actually, we're going to fix that. This is what's known as just a bug. We're going to fix that later. All right, now let's go ahead and do the rest, kind of similar of what we did with the plus, but we're going to do it for subtract, uh, multiply, and divide. So let's go ahead and uh, you can skip ahead if you want to um, skip this part, but it's very similar. Just copy that, and we're going to do minus equals true and then we also have to create the global value variable let's go ahead and create the ones for the others multiply okay minus minus equals true so it's very similar to uh, what we did before and let's do this 